how do you feel? Give us an overall assessment of the day. I feel great, actually. I did really well on all three events. And actually, I did pretty good on bars. It's mm -hmm. just I tried way too hard on my ginger, so yeah. I pulled and I just messed up. So I'm really happy overall how I did, um, especially with the first three events. I got personal best on every, on beam and vault, and then floor, I'm staying in 14 range, so I'm really mm -hmm. excited about that. How did you, it seemed like you were feeding off of the audience. Could you hear them or were you kind of yes. like tuned out? I used the audience, especially for floor, mm -hmm. um, especially for the end of the routine. Mm -hmm. Um, it's also my favorite thing to get them involved and get them happy and get them jumping. Um, so I definitely hear them and I use it throughout my team. Mm -hmm. What was your goal coming into this meet and do you feel like you met your goal? My goal was to do um, as well as I could and hit everything. I feel like I hit my goal for most and I'd say yes, I did hit my goal. I just wanted to really catch my ginger because it's a new skill. But that's why I did it here at Classics because I didn't need to qualify or anything. So this was just a practice meet and I'm really happy with how I did. How did you feel when you landed your vault as well as you did? Oh, I loved it, um, especially because yesterday I was not feeling good. I had a really bad headache. I couldn't I could barely see, and I was trying to like keep it like under wraps. But you know, my ja your gymnastics never fails to show how bad you're feeling that day. Um, so just nailing it in the competition was great. How long have you been working on that vault? Was it before um, you switched gyms or? Yeah, so I've been working the chain. Well, I've working the half on <laughs> since I was super little, like eight. But my chain didn't really. I had a couple of days back at my other gym where I could do it, um, but it didn't really take off until I moved to my other gym, to my new gym. Do you deal with uh, migraines or was it just like a really bad headache? Well, I don't think I deal with migraines, but I think that was, I started, I had one a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. last week of school for me, Yeah. and it was bad, it lasted all week, so I think maybe. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Sounds like maybe stress induced. Oh, sure. definitely, <laughs> yeah. definitely, 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 <laughs> yes. After you said you started to get the chin when you moved to your new gym. What changed for you? Um, definitely just the training and the way we worked it. Um, I definitely felt a shift. I definitely worked my half on more than I worked my Yurchiko. We worked it way more, more drills. Uh, so everything about it, uh, that's I feel like really felt the shift for me. You're tumbling. I know obviously World Champions has really like helped a lot. Yes. but you quickly come into your own on beam and floor, do you think it's really that or is there something else that's just like clicked because everything was firing on all yeah. cylinders, even bars was looking great yeah. besides that minor yeah. error. Yeah, um, I think just knowing that they have confidence in me, my coaches, mm -hmm. uh, that's a big thing for me because um, they're so, I feel like they're more confident in me than I am myself sometimes. I feel like that's a big thing and also I've worked really hard with all my assignments that I've gone mm -hmm. on this year on how to calm myself down for like yeah. beam and how to get myself excited for floor even if I'm nervous mm -hmm. or am I feeling tired. Um, so I feel like that's really how I've come in and made it so much better. What did you do to stay calm on beam today? So a lot of the times I can't calm myself down until I get on the beam. <laughs> so I try and calm myself down but it usually never works. But after I do my mount and I stand up, I tell myself to settle in and I take a deep breath and then I start my routine and it, it always helps. Do you like starting on beam or being um, over? No, actually. <laughs> and it's not because I don't like starting on beam, it's because I don't like ending on bars. Mm, that's that's smart. why. Uh, my favorite event is to start on beam because I finish on floor. What did Cecile and Laura, Cecile and Laura seem particularly proud of you after the floor routine? Did they yeah. say anything specifically to you when you walked off? They said I performed it really well and you, that the crowd was really into it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. High praises. Yeah. Because <laughs> a lot of the times at the gym, I make my routine mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm always thinking, taking mental notes of where I should look mm -hmm. for the crowd when I'm in the gym. Um, so right before I go, they're always like, just have fun, make it a party. So when I do that, it's just really exciting. I noticed when you did your wolf turn, like, cause we're sitting right here. Yeah. So you did your wolf turn and you like hit and you just like beaming smile. Like, do you, are you rehearsing those things? Yes. Or are you, yeah. Especially okay. for my, for, for my, for, for my tumbling passes. No. Yeah. But for my wolf turn, yes. And I, I do it specifically. Actually, when I was podium and today when I was running through my routine, I was thinking about looking at you guys when I finished my turn. Yeah. Because I want to get everyone involved, not just the audience, the judges, the audience, the media, everybody. So, hey, woman Jill, after all of our hearts. Yeah. yeah. Your, your USA Gymnastic Marketing. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Jocelyn, I, I know you had Winter Cup, but mm -hmm. competing with teammates from, yeah. from your gym, does that change the experience at all now that you're doing that more? Definitely, because I'm so much close. Like, you're so close with all these girls, but seeing them every day, it just makes you even closer. So if, if you even if you guys make eye contact right before you go, it's like, okay, I'm going to be okay. And also, we all we all know like everybody's favorite song and what calms them down. So it's like there was a song that came on right before bars, and I knew that it was Zoe's favorite song. And I looked right at her, and she's already dancing. So it's just it's really amazing to have them as teammates. What was that song? Sexy, and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear yeah. about this bet for I Zoe did. dancing? I did. I we all heard about the bet because uh, we were on bars when it came up. And none of us believed, me and Simone especially, did not believe she was going to do it. <laughs> because I was like, you're going to have to tell Cecile Laurent. She's like, okay. And so she didn't. She told Cecile right before uh, we started our 30 second session. She's like, okay, just make sure you get off the apparatus first. And so, but this bet, $200. <laughs> She's getting it. <laughs>